Well people, if you watched the last video, which I did a couple of hours ago, I was wrong. But, I've got a video now which I'm going to be talking about why they are wrong about reopening gyms and why the government do not know what they're talking about. And I'm talking about every aspect of the things that have been reopened and the things that have not been opened. This is going to be a raw video completely. Oh, I don't know what, because I don't really don't know what's going to come out of my mouth. I'm not going to edit it at all. So if you're angry about the gyms not opening, you're going to absolutely love this because I've got so many good points on why they should be opening and why other places are reopening and they shouldn't be. Hello people and welcome back to John Shepherd Fitness. Yes, we are not opening, yep. When I say we, the gyms are not opening. I have got a list, I have got a list. Obviously Boris Johnson is still talking a load of crap on TV, but I've decided I'm so angry. I'm gonna do a video and this is gonna be live. I'm gonna post it on my YouTube channel, which is this now. And I'm also gonna do it on my Instagram account. So I'm gonna try and get this in under 10 minutes because Instagram don't like videos over 10 minutes. Obviously, gyms are not opening back up. They haven't even set a date on when they're opening up. The only gyms that are allowed to reopen in the UK is outdoor gyms, which is very, very limited. I don't even know one outdoor gym. We do not live in California. We have not got a muscle beach. You know why? Because most of the time it's absolutely freezing. So what is the point of even saying outdoor gyms? What is the point? Oh, it seems to me this is all about money. Obviously, there is a lot more pubs, restaurants than gyms. So they're going to make lots more money. The economy is going to get better. Yes, that is the only good point about the whole of this Right, I've got a list of all the things I'm going to say. I want to get it out. I want to get anger out. And, ooh, right. First of all, gyms are not opening up because they're indoors. Also, nightclubs. I understand nightclubs because obviously people are getting drunk and getting dancing close together, doing the old jiggy jiggy together. And I understand that. Um, indoor gyms obviously can produce more germs apparently um, I have never never known somebody go to the gym and be ill um, if they have so I've got no proof about it but apparently gyms are, which are indoors are not allowed to reopen outdoor gyms are but my query of this is if indoor gyms are not allowed to reopen why are pubs and restaurants allowed to open? They are both indoors too. And the reason I am more particular about this and it, why it angers me so much is, have you ever been in a pub, Boris Johnson, which is a low down, gr gritty, dirty pub, right? Toilets are absolutely disgusting. It stinks, right? I used to be a chef. I used to be a chef, I'm a qualified chef, and I've been in some restaurants, and I know how they work. They are grotty, they are dirty. How many restaurants get closed down a year because of health and hygiene risks? Also, you're talking about food hygiene. People touch things, you know. Even when you see the top chefs on TV, they're mixing stuff with their hands. Who's telling me that they're not gonna accidentally do that and rub their hands? Tell me that. Have you ever been out on a night out in a pub and the, the tables are full of glasses? You know what I mean? I'm gonna, I'm gonna say why, why would it even work? I mean, how can a pub work, right? How are you gonna stop all these people from going to the pub and ordering by an app, right? Tell me, how is, limited amount of people who work in it because it's got to be a limited amount going to be able to serve all these customers through an app it's absolutely stupid 
you know, gyms are just as hygienic as any restaurant or any pub, unless it's a top end um, restaurant. Obviously, like Boris Johnson goes to, he doesn't know nothing. And obviously, why bother about the whole two meter rule? Because gyms, I have never known a person in a two meter rule at the gym unless you're spotting somebody. But this is another thing that people will be allowed to do. You also, hairdressers are allowed to cut and people are allowed to do that. That is, there is no meter rule at all. Yes, I, I agree, people need to look nice and healthy, but also people need to look healthy inside. And you give us the freedom to do exercise outside because it, it, the, the, the virus can't spread as easy. Um, most top gyms now have air conditioning. Air conditioning sucks the air out. So it's just as good. It's just as good. Um, it's gonna affect all PTs. It's gonna affect all gym owners, right? You don't think about all the gyms that are now going to go under. They're probably on, the, I know you're, they're getting paid, but they are not getting paid like they would get when members are joining, PTs are all self-employed. You know, they will probably lost loads of customers as it is, you know, so it's gonna affect all them. Like I said, why care about fitness, um, walking out and getting fit um, and letting people out for an hour, right? The gym is the best place to get fit, right? You have not, not only just got a variation of machines to use to get fit, you're also helping people with depression. A lot of people who go to the gym suffer with some sort of depression and the gym is the only release they can do. I know people who get depressed because they don't go to the gym. You know, one of our most famous bodybuilders from the UK died of depression and killed himself, maybe because he couldn't go to the gym and he's a professional bodybuilder. So how can you not let people go to the gym, um, at, but let people do fitness all the time. You know, fitness is all over the place. You know, it's it's just frustrating. When I said about um, gyms and um, restaurants being about the same in hygienic levels, gyms are a lot more hygienic. Social distancing is a lot better. Um, stuff is cleaned more regularly in a gym than a pub, a restaurant. Um, I cannot see people going around with limited staff cleaning and serving all at the same time. It is virtually impossible. And the amount of people on on 4th of July who will go out to pubs, how they're going to stop it? It's not got only. It's not going to only affect pubs and social distancing. It's also going to affect the police. How are police going to hold back all these people from going out? Um, it's just stupid, right? We know that pubs, um, stuff like that, causes a lot of trouble. And also, alcohol is now involved. Pubs, I've got it here. Pub equals drink, equals drunks, equals the police struggling. The police struggle as it is. They're gonna struggle even more now. And also, this is why gyms should be open because gyms can control people from coming in. They can control the amount of people in the gym. They can control the atmosphere. They can control the, they can wear face masks. I mean, the whole point of a face mask is to not be able to pass it on to somebody else by breathing. So just wear a face mask in the gym. All the stuff will stay in the face mask. So it's it's stupid. You could take a test and if you come out positive, you're not allowed in a gym. If you come out negative, you should be allowed in a gym because you're not, there's nothing to spread. Also, which I don't get is the app to order your food to order your drinks how is this going to work with people who don't have phones and um, people who are poorer who don't have a decent phone with an app on it people who are old who don't know how to use um apps and stuff like that how are they going to order 
food. How are they going to order a drink? It's going to be impossible because it's going to take them, even if they have got the app, like my mom. It would, it would totally take her about two hours to even know what to do. You know, it's just absolutely stupid. And before I finish, right, and it's gone over 10 minutes already. So if all these places are, st are being opened up and everything, and this is one that's close to my heart because obviously I've got a son, parks are allowed open, play parks. And this one is the biggest and the most stupidest thing why gyms should be open and things like parks should not be open. Climbing frames, swings, slides, all that. You grab onto it, you hold it. We as adults can control, we can wear gloves, we're, we can be more hygienic. No, do you know one kid that doesn't put their fingers in their mouth, picks their nose, puts bogeys on, wipes them on frames, and then you've got another kid going on a frame putting their hands on it are they gonna have people cleaning every park um, after everybody's gone on a swing no they're not gonna do that they're, it's just everything is just about money and you know what obviously the things that are which can save people which can make people more healthier like a gym um, is just being shoved to the back because they don't care about people who enjoy actual proper physical workouts. I know you can train at home and do body exercises and all that. Stuff, but if you're a person who actually really goes to the gym for a good workout or you live in a really enclosed space and you can't do a workout, the gym is the perfect place to do all that. And this rule and all this stuff that's came out now is absolutely stupid. Why on earth would you not open gyms if they can be controlled? I don't agree on some gyms maybe not opening because obviously some gyms are so tiny and they can't take out stuff. But what's stopping now, every single gym in the UK just taking all their equipment out and sticking it on a car park. If they own that car park, they can do it. And I suggest all the gyms now do that because you're going to get people coming and then it's, you know, I might as well book myself a flight to the LA and go on Muscle Beach and work out there because they haven't told you anything about, yes, it may be opening up. Deaths have not came down, like I said in the last video. They're back to 200 and something. They're not going down. They're going to be going down very, 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 very minimum. And I can't see now, after this, gyms being open for a long time. And and this is not the only effect it's going to have on people like me. Events, bodybuilding shows. I don't think a bodybuilding show will take part this year. And I'm afraid, I think Body Power will be cancelled this year. Uh, crowds like that you know it's it's not gonna happen you cannot control crowds unless the death rate and everything turns back to zero then things are never gonna happen one thing what pubs can't do compared to gyms is people who go to gym are members and you know who is coming in with pubs you will never know how many are coming out now that day if you get a group of lads going out on an IA and also um, pubs want to make money so places like the Weatherspoons well you know places like your sports bars they're going to show football and then people are going to go to the pubs to watch football and you're telling me one two bounces is going to control a hundred people you know there's going to be riots everywhere I can see it there's going to be trouble um, just because you can't control like pubs pubs you know some pubs you probably can little fancy bars and stuff like that but proper old school pubs you know where regulars go and then 
they make a lot of money on nights uh, because they didn't have, say no restrictions on when pubs are allowed to stay open to as well you know the alcohol is going to consume and are they going to get rid of people no nah, they're not going to kick them out are they and then what they're going to do when everybody in the whole pub is dancing about it's going to cause trouble it's going to cause fights bouncers are going to get in, in trouble they're going to get in fights they might get hurt people are going to get hurt you know if you're going to do this and open pubs then you might as well just scrap the whole thing and just go back to how it was normally because it's just going to cause more trouble you know i know i'm going off the subject but it is anyway i've had enough of this i'm not in a good mood i did want to release another video tonight but this is instead because i think it's more important anyway if i find out anything about opening up the gyms or anything you'll probably know at the same time as me so i'll see you next time i will see you tomorrow or see you the next day with obviously my shredding diet what i'm doing it was for the gym <laughs> but you never know if there's enough uproar he might change his mind next week but i doubt it